Thank you for purchasing our product. We are sure you'll be glad you chose our machine, and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing. Preparation Make sure that the power is switched off. Pull the thread gut bar up as far as it will go. Turn the thread gut bar until it snaps into place. The thread gut bar is placed right above the spool pins. Raise the presser foot lifter. The tension discs will be opened when the presser foot lifter is raised. Firmly insert the spool holder into the spool. Place the spool on the spool pin. Thread the machine from the right to the left in order. Draw the thread through the thread guide from back to front. Pass the thread through the top cover thread guide from the right. Pull the thread along the slit. Do the same for the other thread. Threading the lower looper. Slide the looper cover to the right as far as it will go. Pull the looper cover toward you to open it. Pull the thread along the slit. Insert the thread between the tension discs of the lower looper thread tension dial with both hands. Tug the thread gently to ensure the thread is correctly inserted between the tension discs. Set the lower looper pre-tension setting slider to standard. Draw the thread along the slit and pass it through the right slit of the looper thread guide from the right. Pull out approximately 12 inches of thread. Make sure that the thread does not get tangled around the lever or the cover. Set the looper thread or switch lever to threading position. Turn the hand wheel toward you slowly until it clicks. Turn the looper selection lever to lower looper position. Insert the thread end one inch or longer into the threading hole on the right with the tweezers. Raise the looper threader lever until it clicks into place. Lower the looper threader lever until it knocks into place. Make sure that the thread comes out from the hole at the lower looper tip. If the thread does not come out from the hole, raise and lower the looper threader lever again. Draw 4 inches of the thread under the toe of the foot and pull it to the rear between the foot and the upper knife. Threading the upper looper. Pull the thread along the slit. Insert the thread between the tension discs of the upper looper thread tension dial with both hands. Tug the thread gently to ensure the thread is correctly inserted between the tension discs. Draw the thread along the slit and pass it through the left slit of the looper thread guide from the right. Pull out approximately 12 inches of thread. Make sure that the thread does not get tangled around the lever or the cover. Set the looper thread or switch lever to threading position. 
turn the looper selection lever to upper looper position. Insert the thread end one inch or longer into the threading hole on the left with the tweezers. Raise the looper threader lever until it clicks into place. Lower the looper threader lever until it knocks into place. Make sure that the thread comes out from the hole of the upper looper tip. If the thread does not come out from the hole, raise and lower the looper threader lever again. Draw 4 inches of the thread under the toe of the foot, and pull it to the rear between the foot and the upper knife. Return the lower thread or switch lever to sewing position. Close the looper cover. Threading the right needle. Make sure that the power is switched off. Match the mark on the bell cover with the mark on the hand wheel. Pull the thread along the slit. Insert the thread between the tension discs of the right needle thread tension dial with both hands. Tug the thread gently to ensure the thread is correctly inserted between the tension discs. Pull down the thread along the slit and draw it to the left through the thread path. Pull up the thread along the left side of the thread take-up lever cover and pass it over the take-up lever thread guide. Pass the thread through the right slit of the needle thread guide. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from left to right. Set the needle threader switch lever to R. Lower the presser foot lifter. Pull down the needle threader lever as far as it will go. Draw the thread along the guide on the needle threader switch lever from the left and under the hook. Raise the threader lever slowly. Pull the thread loop with the tweezers to take the thread end out to the rear through the needle eye. Loop the thread around the front of the foot and pull it down in between the upper knife. Draw it under and out the back of the foot by about 4 inches. Threading the left needle. Make sure that the power is switched off. Match the mark on the bell cover with the mark on the hand wheel. Pull the thread along the slit. Insert the thread between the tension discs of the left needle thread tension dial with both hands. Tug the thread gently to ensure the thread is correctly inserted between the tension discs. Pull down the thread along the slit and draw it to the left through the thread path. Pull up the thread along the left side of the thread take-up lever cover and pass it over the take-up lever thread guide. Pass the thread through the left slit of the needle thread guide. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from left to right. Set the needle threader switch lever to L. Lower the presser foot lifter. Pull down the needle threader lever as far as it will go. Draw the thread along the guide on the needle threader switch lever from the left and under the hook.
raise the threader lever slowly. Pull the thread loop with the tweezers to take the thread end out to the rear through the needle eye. Loop the thread around the front of the foot and pull it down in between the upper knife. Draw it under and out the back of the foot by about 4 inches. Sewing Lower the presser foot lifter. Inserting the power supply plug into the power outlet. Turn the power switch on. Set the thread tension dials to 3. Draw the threads to the back under the foot. While pulling the thread chain slightly to the back, run the machine slowly to produce a thread chain for 2 inches. Insert the fabric under the toe of the foot. Start sewing slowly. The fabric will automatically be fed. When stitching is completed, continue to run the machine slowly to produce a thread chain for about 5 inches. Cut the threads with the thread cutter, leaving about a 2 inch thread chain on the end of the fabric. Stitch Length Adjustment To adjust the stitch length turn the stitch length dial. The smaller the number, the shorter the stitch. This is suitable for lightweight fabrics. The larger the number, the longer the stitch. This is suitable for heavyweight fabrics. Differential Feed Ratio Adjustment Adjust the differential feed ratio when sewing fabrics that tend to stretch or pucker. The differential feed ratio can be altered by turning the differential feed dial. If the sewn fabric puckers, turn the dial clockwise. If the sewn fabric stretches, turn the dial counterclockwise. Thread rolled hemming. Turn the power switch off. Match the mark on the bell cover with the mark on the hand wheel. Remove the left needle thread. Insert the left needle into the needle holder. Loosen the needle clamp screw with the screwdriver. Remove the left needle. Partially tighten the needle clamp screw. Turn the chaining finger switch knob to R. Make sure that the chaining finger is below the surface of the needle plate. Set the lower looper pretension setting slider to tight. Set the stitch length dial to R. Set the differential feed dial to 1.0. Set the lower and upper looper thread tension dials to 3. Set the right needle thread tension dials between 3 and 4. Turn the power switch on. Lower the presser foot lifter. Draw the threads to the back under the foot. While pulling the thread chain slightly to the back, run the machine slowly to produce a thread chain for 2 inches. Insert the fabric under the toe of the foot. Start sewing slowly. The fabric will automatically be fed. When stitching is completed, continue to run the machine slowly to produce a thread chain for about 5 inches. 
cut the threads with the thread cutter, leaving about a 2 inch thread chain on the end of the fabric. Check the results of the sewing test and adjust the thread tension. Care and Maintenance Turn the power switch off. Following the instructions in the manual, clean and oil the machine regularly. Replacing the needle. Use an H81SP number 14 or number 11 needle. Turn the power switch off. Match the mark on the bell cover with the mark on the hand wheel. Insert the needle into the needle holder. Loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. With the flat side facing backward, insert the needle into the needle holder. Insert the needle into the needle clamp and push it up as far as it will go. Tighten the needle clamp screw firmly with a screwdriver. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.